from Zoyunit Snomer in Hollywood. It's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. B-I-T-C-H. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together, <laughs> together again on the radio. Just being silly here. Just being silly. Oh, my. Dean just sent me something. It's beyond disgusting. Oh, my. That really hurt. Come on. That can't be real. Why don't you search her name out on Google? Before I read this on the air, you've got to check and make sure that's a real photo. That's not a something that's been doctored. Look down there. There's more pictures. Scroll down. Uh-huh. But is that really who it says it is? Oh, boy. Mm. This is frightening. You know, as we say, uh, uh, and again, we want to have this all right. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. And uh, we have said something on the air that uh, is pretty much always true. Oh, my. Oh, oh, I'm looking at photographs here. Oh, yikes. That is scary stuff. Oh, my goodness. Was this woman ever hot, Gary? There appears to be some of her inner. There. Oh, my goodness. I, again, I don't want to say who we're looking at here until we uh <laughs> until we uh, you know we have to verify i just sent you a link for some imdb pictures it it looks like her this is there are a few of her when she was uh thinner oh my but she definitely did chunk up if you look at that one in the top left hand corner somebody there. called me and told me that um there was at least one person uh, in Hollywood, who had a fat wife, and they said it was this guy. And I remember hearing that, but it certainly looks like it could be the same person. We're going to verify here first, you know, because it's a litigious society, and before we go on and and tell you who the actor is with the fat wife, and then probably we we have to put that link on our website if it turns out to be true Gary so people can see this for themselves now Dean Dean finally concedes on the screen here he says my track record record isn't that good I will try and get confirmation see the young man now is finally learning that you can't just put that stuff in front of me while I'm on the air without verification because he's done that before Oh, my, that's a large woman. What happened to her? I know. Going back. Mm. Looks like... Uh, <sighs> I'm going to say it's safe to say that uh, this woman is is, is overweight. Oh, she's over. Could, she's beyond think, overweight. I don't think you have a problem saying that. No, well, she's... Well, no, but is it the woman that we think who is overweight? And that's my question for you. Is this I who understand. we think it is? 
Uh, it seems to be saying that here. My goodness. I'm just going to read what it says here on this website. Looks like a blog website. And I don't know where he got this from. Is that one of your fruity websites there, Dean? You know, the fudge report or whatever this is. Yeah. Well, all right, I'm going to, uh, since nobody here seems to be telling me that there is, uh, that this is not accurate, I'm going to go with it. If it's not correct, somebody will correct me, but I have heard this from, from callers. Now, I have said on the air many times that you'll, you know, you just don't see rich, successful guys or big, rich celebrities. You don't see them walking around with big, fat wives. Now, somebody called in and reported that that Pierce Brosnan had a fat wife. And I kind of dismissed it, number one, because honestly, I didn't know who Pierce Brosnan's wife was. And secondly, I thought I recalled him being married to somebody really attractive. So then I uh, I am sent this link to this uh, website called JustJared.com. And I am looking at the headline on this uh, this little story is, Pierce Brosnan is shirtless, comma, wife in bikini. And there's Pierce Brosnan. You know, I'm, I'm not gay, but that looks like a good-looking guy to me. Even I can tell he's a very good-looking guy that women get hot for. There's no doubt about it. And there's his, it says this is his wife whose name is Keely Shea Smith. There's 30 pictures here, uh, mostly of, uh, amazingly enough, you've got shirtless Pierce Brosnan, which I'm sure there's a lot of women who'd like to see those photos, but there's even more pictures of Mrs. Brosnan. And uh, but to put this lightly, if this is Mrs. Pierce Brosnan, this is not a pretty sight. Oh, baby, that is one large woman. You know, it's a case where you had a woman who was, you know, voluptuous, but not fat when he married her. And now, oh, baby. Unbelievable. And the comments people have posted here are priceless. Somebody wrote, uh, I didn't know he was married to a beached whale. Now think about this for a second. You're married to Pierce Brosnan. My guess is every listener in, every female listener in the zip codes where our show is her, at one time or another, has taken out the power tools and had a thought or two about Pierce Brosnan. Pierce Brosnan can probably have any woman out there. Now, if if you're married to a guy who can have any woman out there, would you let yourself get like this? Who boy, that's fat. Wow, we. It's just amazing. Yeah, you're right, Dean. He was James Bond for Christ's sake. The guy was James Bond. That is one large broad. Oh, boy, oh, boy. She was uh, apparently featured in uh, 2006 in the Vogue issue. It was called uh, the Shape Issue for uh, larger women. The Shape Issue? Yes. Let's see. So it's fairly well known. He's with a large woman? Yeah, but... So it looks like she's really packed it on recently, though. That's unbelievable what I'm seeing here. I mean, you wouldn't want to take a chance like that if you're married to Pierce Brosnan, would you? Come on! Not to mention the fact that pictures of you in your bikini... Uh, by the way, a bikini? If you could see the gut we're talking about here, a bikini is definitely not what the doctor ordered here, Okay. 
I mean, about the only modeling this woman's going to be doing is, is those Dove billboards. And she might even be too big for those. These are all opinions, by the way. They are covered by the First Amendment to the United States Constitution. Just in case you're wondering. They're just opinions. Maybe some people don't think she looks like a beached whale, and they're entitled to their opinion, too. God bless America. That is one fat chick. Now, isn't it only natural? Let me ask you this question, guys. Isn't this only natural? When you see a woman who looks like that with a guy who is not only looks like Pierce Brosnan, but has the money and power and fame of Pierce Brosnan, which certainly exceeds my money, power, and fame, don't you wonder, what is it that keeps these two together? And, and don't say love. Basketball through a garden hose? That's what I'm thinking. Check the trailer hitches. Is there any chrome left at the Brosnan residence? Just curious. Because I, I can't imagine what keeps them together. And I think it's only natural as a male to say... You're Pierce Brosnan, for Christ's sake. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? That's a big broad. Wow. I'm not worried about saying any of this stuff. Pierce Brosnan has never been on our show and never will be on our show. So what? I'm not going to speak frankly about this. Uh, if you say that, Pierce Brosnan will never come on your show. Yeah, like he's been on the show before. I got it linked on the site. Oh, good. All right, you can go to our website, blowmeuptom.com. Take a look at this. Am I being am I being unreasonable here to say these things? Do you really think I'm being unreasonable? I've got to know. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-866. To all those guys out there that are that are knocking these broads up and, and telling them that they love them and, and all of that, you know, these girls don't love you. These girls love wallet. These girls don't want to have your baby. These girls want to have job security. It's the Tom Likas Show. Oh, yeah. The Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. I've got to say it. <laughs> Have you seen Pierce Brosnan's wife? Holy cow. Becky on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Yes. Hey, I'm in my car. I don't even have to look at your link. I've kept an eye on this woman, Okay. She started getting big after they had their first kid, and he said, oh, I don't care. I love her. She's the mother of my children and my wife. And then, like, two years ago, she's sitting at the Golden Globes in this white dress, and you see her in the background as the cameras are panning. She's gigantic. She oh. is gigantic. Yes. Her arms, her upper arms are bigger than my thighs. <laughs> and, and she just exploded, and he doesn't seem to care. <laughs> I don't get it. I, if, if I was with a 180-pound guy, let's say, and a couple years down the road, he's now pushing 320. I'm out. Oh, my goodness. So, I mean, she's gigantic, and I don't get it. She, she, she looks like that Cameron Manheim. Remember her? Oh, yes. She's huge, too. Well, I mean, she lost a little weight, but she's still a big woman. <laughs> why doesn't she do something? Get she might trainer. be bigger than Cameron Manheim. That's big. Get a trainer. <laughs> get, a, get an operation. Fuck <laughs> it out. Something. Get a forklift. I don't know. Blow me up, Tom. I'll blow you up, baby. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. It's Scott on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Tom. Hey, what's happening? Not much. Just want to say I've been listening to you for a long time. You're great. Thank you very much. Sure, thank you. Chick must be the nicest chick on the planet. She must rub his feet, you know, chocolate, strawberries, you know, back rubs. Oh, every but there's plenty of night. chocolate and strawberries and you know, Cinnabons. And, oh, my. The toes. I don't know what she's up to, but she's doing something that all the other women aren't doing if she's keeping Pierce Brosnan around. <laughs> yeah, you got to wonder, how does she keep Pierce Brosnan around? The only thing I'm thinking is he's one of those guys that likes fat chicks, and it's just one of those weird anomalies. 
I it could. Yeah, like, I, the only thing I can think it could be great for his career, because then every woman who watches him thinks I could have him. Oh, he's a nice guy. Yeah, he. Oh, I mean, if he, if that's his wife, he must. You must be able to get him away from her. You must be able to seduce him away from her. So he he's he's not running anything on the sidelines, is what we're saying. He's just faithful to her. I have no idea. The one. I don't know. I mean, we can only assume that. I'm not going to speculate on that. Yeah, uh, but uh, but what I will say is I, I just can't believe that Pierce Brosnan, a guy who looks like that with the fame and money he has, I could be with a woman. I think he's attracted to fat chicks. That's his thing. You think he's a chubby chaser? He's just a chubby chaser, a hog runner, whatever you want to call it. That's his <laughs> thing. And he just he just can't fight it. He's just, you know, going for it. Love it. Thank you, Scott. All right, blow me up, Tom. Here you go, baby. one 800 tom is our telephone number, by the way. Don't take my word for it. Go to blowmeuptom.com. And uh, we've linked to these photos. Ooh, boy, oh, boy. Ryan on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Um, yeah. Oh, it's a pleasure. But, uh, yeah, me and my coworkers were listening. We're like, all right, Tom must be exaggerating. Dude, we went on JustJared.com. Our jaws nearly hit the floor. It was ridiculous. I'm Pierce Brosnan. I'm definitely going to be banging hotter chicks than that. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Like, I'm freaking double low, freaking seven. I'm going to be out there getting some tail. And, I mean, she had to be at least two of him. She's ridiculous. My goodness. I'm, I, I mean, she's not just a little chunky. Yeah, she is ridiculous. I mean, we're talking moo moo cow here. Wow. Yeah, like, I would be embarrassed to walk outside with this girl. It. And right, he gets photographed on the red carpet with her and everything. My goodness. And like I say, the only thing I can think is it's good for his career because every woman out there says, oh, my goodness. If he was married to a beautiful woman, you could never have Pierce Brosnan. But if this is who his wife is, he's gettable. Yeah, now they all think that they can get with him. Which may not be true, but they may think that. Even the fat girls, some, you know, think that they can get hot guys now. Right. Right on. Whoa. Can you take me out with a bong tub, please? I certainly can. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. And uh, we're looking at these photos of Pierce Brosnan and his wife. His name is Keely Smith. And she is a big one. Wow. Let's say hello here to Anthony on the Tom Likas show. Hey, Tom. How's it going? Doing okay. Well, uh, about this whole thing, there's only really two possible scenarios. Either um, he's very religious, which I've never heard that, so I'm, that's probably not it. The other one is he's been, he's been married to her for a while, correct? It has been a while, yes. And, and, and they have... A kid together, it's just better to stay together than, than to get divorced. And she likes her cushy lifestyle, I'm sure. Cushy, no pun intended there. And <laughs> she just, uh, they probably sleep in separate rooms. Maybe, I don't know, maybe he's a great guy and he just loves her for who she is and all of who she is. But uh, People love to say that, but how many people are really like that? Uh, I'm not. I mean, you're uh, yeah. Pierce freaking Brosnan. I could understand if you were a, your average Tom Likas lister driving a Toyota Corolla, wishing he could afford a Maserati. I would understand if you had a woman who was that huge. I would. I think maybe she just lets him live his life. She doesn't ask any questions. And uh, he lets her live in his house and takes care of the kids. That's what you think. Those. Okay, that's your opinion. It's, yeah, that's my opinion. It's uh, I could I could be completely wrong about that, but... Um. Well, stuck in traffic in Vegas. Now, wait till you see these photos. <laughs> I, I can't wait to get home. Oh, baby. All right, All right. Anthony. Thanks. Good talking. Thank uh, you. Thank you. <laughs> he sounds like he's all over the road, literally.
One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Ron on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Tommy. How are you, Ronnie? Great. Well, let me tell you, uh, Becky stole my thunder. I knew this chick was hot before they started going out. And she got fat. So let me tell you, look up her wedding photo. I think she started packing on those pounds six months before they got married, I'm pretty sure. And he even still took her. What is that all her. about? He married her even though she started putting on those pounds when he could have cut it off right there. Mm. 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 Yeah. Well, I hope people go to our uh, website. We don't have the photos on our website. We just link to where the photos are. Yeah, I'm going to look it up once I get off my iPhone with you, but... Can you take me out Kobe style with some basketball dribbles? You know I can. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Now Gary sent me uh, a photo. I guess must be for a few years ago. Uh, she looked pretty good back then. She looked pretty good. Yeah, it looks like when they met, she was actually thin. Yeah. Uh, and then, she, and that last guy was right. By the time they got married, she'd already started to chunk up just a tad. But man, then it just goes downhill fast. Oh my goodness! Wow. And I, I think her getting preggers. Uh, definitely contributed to that it's called a treadmill buy a gym membership what are you doing doesn't look like she ever lost that weight no and now she just really packing it on now. oh my god oh painful 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 imagine imagining that the pierce brosnan the guy is pierce brosnan It's friggin' James Bond. Married to a whale. What is that? 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Here's Bob on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. I just got to know, how many pounds is this? I'm in my car driving. Well, I can't tell how tall she is. But let's say she's 5'7". Yeah. I say she's not quite 200 pounds, but she's in that neighborhood. Damn. What the hell is he doing with her? That's what I'm saying. When you get home, go to our website, click on these photos. Take my word for it. Goddamn. Hey, I believe the only one appropriate here is uh, taking out Kobe style. It's the only one that's appropriate here. All right. I'll take out Kobe style. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. 1 800 5 800 Tom. That's our telephone number. This is Sal on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing, Sal? I'm doing all right. You know, I was thinking about that old Spears. Um, I think he just he forgot to get a prenup, man. You think that's what it is? Oh yeah. Well, I mean, what? I mean, God, you were James Bond. I know. I follow that guy, and I have that much money. I mean, I could be getting all the tail I can that you know looks great. Not not. not oh, pretty by man. the way, he's got all the tail one man can handle. Yeah, that's that's looks true. like about eighty pounds of tail. <laughs> That's, true, that's a whale of a tail, that's right. I think he just forgot about the prenup, Tom. You think that's what it is? What else can it be? I don't think he's a chubby chaser, man. I don't know. He forgot about the prenup. You're right. I died. <laughs> that's a good opinion. <laughs> Blow me up, Tom. Here you go, baby. one 800 800 tom is our telephone number. We have a listener who is listening online from none other than Edison, New Jersey. Huh. Vin. There's only one Vin in Southern California. His last name is Scully. Okay, after that, and he's from New York. Oh, Vin Diesel. Yeah, is that his real name though, Dean? I don't. I don't think so either. Diesel. 
of the Diesel family. Uh, let's go to Vin in Edison, New Jersey, on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Father. Son, how are you? Very good. How, before we get started here, how did, how did you in Edison, New Jersey, trip over the Tom Likas show? Oh, I'm, I'm from California originally. I moved there a couple of years ago. Um, and I used to listen to you every day. And I kept that same trend here. And uh, blowmeuptom.com is the name of the site. And that's I love that. I love that. And uh, and how's Edison, New Jersey tonight? Oh, my God. It's snowing out here. It's pretty crazy. It's, it's cold as hell. I miss California. I bet you do. And, uh, you know, this topic that you're talking about, I ran across this another website where they got these pictures of this uh, same girl. She's in a blue dress with Pierce Brosnan. She doesn't look nearly as fat there, but she's still fat. I'll still call her fat. Uh, the site is um, absolutenow.com. And uh, if you do forward slash photos and Brosnan, you'll see uh, this chick with Brosnan there. Um, she's wearing like a blue, blue dress. And uh, I, I just can't figure out what this guy is thinking, you know? I mean, this guy could have any chick in the world, and he's with this girl. It's just amazing. Yeah. Man. I'd love to ask him. Yeah. Because it's, it's, it's if I'm Paris Brosnan, I'm getting the hottest piece of ass in the world every day. I mean, there's two guys I cannot imagine with this chick. One is Pierce Brosnan, and the other is Tom Likas. <laughs> exactly right. You blow me up, Tom. Of course I can. one 800 times our telephone number. By the way, Vin Diesel. Real name, Mark Sinclair Vincent, according to Wikipedia. Vin Diesel. Nobody named Vin is from California. Forget it. one 800 Tom is our telephone number. We'll come back with more of your telephone calls. We are talking about Pierce Brosnan. And we uh, got a look at some uh, bikini photos of his wife taken recently, apparently. And they are on, uh, we link to them from our website. You can take a look. Go to blowmeuptom.com. Get a look if you can. And you tell me uh, what you think here. Coming up. Tom, 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 Tom. Like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. If I'm blessed enough to meet my soulmate, why would I go and blow it with marriage? It's the Tom Likes Show. It's the Tom Likes Show. At one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. So I'll take my word for this. Get a look at these pictures of Pierce Brosnan's wife in a bikini. By going to blowmeuptom.com. Wow, we. Now, as you know, anybody can call a radio program and claim to be anybody. They're anonymous. And uh, many times people call radio shows and pretend to be somebody they're not. Many times people make claims they cannot substantiate. Many times when people call in, they, they're just plain lying, okay? I mean, really, when I put a caller on the air, I give out the name of a person. We don't know if that's even their real name. So behind the cloak of anonymity, uh, somebody might say something totally false. And that means you should take every call with a grain of salt. Like this next caller. Again, with a grain of salt, please. Bill on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, how you doing, Tom? I'm okay, Bill. Good. Yeah, I I, uh, I happen to uh, know him, not like uh, going out to uh, dinner with him on a nightly basis, but I live in... Kauai as well as in uh, Las Vegas and go back and forth but my son goes to school or did go to school at uh, Hanalei where his, his kids go to school and uh, anyway so I used to see him once or twice a day and I saw him a lot more than I saw his wife but I would see her at school functions and uh, um, coming to pick up the kids uh, but he he came to pick up kids more. But uh, anyway, so I used to see them constantly. 
All right. And? Uh, and basically, um, she kind of started, uh, I guess, getting bigger on a gradual basis. Um, but his whole way of life, the way he lives, he seems to be very happy with just kind of having a, a, the normal family life type of a thing and not um, – He's not out chasing women or anything like that. He seems to be more of a, a family man type of guy and, and seems to be perfectly happy and content with her. And uh, um, I, it's kind of funny. The whole reason why I called in was it, it always made me wonder with a guy. I mean, the, the guy's a really good-looking guy. He's richer than... than um, you know, he could, rich and successful and famous, and uh, you know, again, I'm I'm a straight male. I don't generally go around judging guys' appearance, but even a straight guy could see how good looking Pierce Brosnan probably is to women. Yeah, well, and I, and like I said, I mean, just uh, you know, I see the guy all the time, and he is, and he's the nicest guy in the world. I mean, this guy would not have any problem getting, I would imagine, any woman. Just about on the face of the earth. That's what I'm uh, saying. Yeah, and and I, I would ask my wife. I'd say, you know, what what's the deal with uh, what you know? <laughs> what is it that she's got? Now I have to tell you, I don't I don't really know her because I actually saw him more and talked to him more than I saw her, and and uh, you know she was nice and everything like that, but I I just didn't quite understand. I know he had went through a major grieving process when he lost his last wife, and I don't know if that changed his mindset or what, but um, she definitely did. I, I didn't even know that that was his wife the first time I saw her. I said, is that like the nanny or something that takes care of his kids? And somebody told me, no, that's, that's his wife. <laughs> oh, my. Yeah. So, yeah, he, he, I mean, uh, uh, they're... You know, seem to be wonderful people, but uh, I can't give you any opinion one way or the other on how great of a person she is, because I really don't know her, but but uh, physically, I I was quite... Uh, um, Repulsed? I, yeah, well, I'm pretty shocked at... And being in Hawaii, I mean, there's there's, uh, uh, you know, there's a lot of big girls there that, in uh, Hawaiian persuasion, I guess, the best way to put it, but... Uh, those, those big Polynesian girls? Yeah, but see, also at the same place, like where where we live down there, it's also the top surfers in the world live down there, and their wives and girlfriends are not exactly what you would call heifers. <laughs> They're more on the uh, nines and tens, you know. Oh, I'm sure they are. Wow. Well, thank you for that. Katie, on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Katie. First of all, I would just like to address Bill, your last caller, who start, started out where, you know, he seemed like a decent guy and he was defending, you know, his neighbor. But then he trashed the wife when he's trying to say that they're a great family. I mean, that goes, that just shows that he's just as shallow as you are, Tom. Well, uh, let me tell you something, dear. Uh, men are visual creatures. Now, there are obviously exceptions to the rule because even a broken clock is right twice a day. But generally speaking, if a woman is a whale, we generally cannot become aroused. We're not excited to see that. So when people call your show and they say, look at you, Tom, you know, and they, they say all these things that, you know, could hurt your feelings because of your appearance. Why do you think the women want to be with you? Because, because I have because I have money, power, and fame, the way right. Pierce and Brosnan that, does. That doesn't necessarily mean that you have a bad personality. Women could also want to be with you because of your your shining personality. That could be the same with his wife. Well, he might have just a great personality, and he may. But be that, when you to her. when you say a woman has a great personality, you know that we're saying she's fat. That's generally what you say about your fat friend. You want to match up with somebody. So generally speaking, you're saying that skinny, beautiful women do not have good personalities. No, no, I'm saying I really don't care what kind of personality a woman has as long as she's not living in my house. Well, you don't necessarily have to live with her, but eventually, even even if you're just going to date her, you'd like her to have something to say. No, I really wouldn't. In fact, the, the less said, the better. 
Well, that's your style. That may not be. A and I think style. a lot of guys start to feel the same way. That's because you're molding their young minds to think that way. That, well, I hope you're so. You're very persuasive, and that's your God-given gift. But being on the well, radio, I'm an atheist. I don't believe it's a God-given gift. I developed it on my own. Well, hey, newsflash! I have an opinion. So, it's your God-given really? gift that you have. Probably not you know, that attractive yourself. I I'm very attractive, actually. Really? What do you look like? Uh, five seven, long brown hair, 125 pounds. And very beautiful? I would say very beautiful. Nine, at least. At least a nine. You have a nice set of knockers? As a matter of fact, I do, Tom. But this just goes to show how shallow you are. You don't want to get into a substance a conversation that has any no. substance in it. Because well, if I, I want to have a conversation. You know, I have knockers, and you want to know how they pick. Yes, because if, if I want to have a conversation with substance, I'll call my uh, friends. I'll call the, the boys. I'll, uh... You're doing a radio show, and you're allowing me to call. So why not, why not allow me to speak? Well, you have spoken, and you're continuing to speak, uh, despite whether or not I want to hear your opinion. All I wanted was, a good, like, a normal rebuttal. Uh, I'm, I'm giving you a rebuttal. Most guys don't really care what you have to say. But where I wanted to talk about Pierce Bronson. Pierce Bronson may actually love Bronson, her. She Pierce Bronson? A nanny. She doesn't have Is that to Charles be Bronson's nanny. brother? Charles Bronson's brother? Yes. We're not talking about Charles. Oh, Pierce Bronson. Pierce Bronson. <laughs> Pierce Bronson. Pierce Bronson. Pierce Bronson. <laughs> I forgot how to say his last name. But that doesn't mean that... Uh, I'm glad Pierce I'm talking Bronson. to somebody of substance. With my substance? <laughs> Tom. Yes, dear. Tom. Tom. You know... This is I why I don't to... ask women for an opinion about anything, because this is what it degrades because into. you have a talent to turn people's words around. Oh. And then you hang up so I can make you sound you... stupid just by talking to you? Merely can... by talking to you. I never said that you can make me sound stupid. I said you Maybe you were stupid tongue. to start with. I said you could twist my tongue. I can twist your tongue? Yes. I can't even twist reach your mouth. You can't even reach my mouth, but you can definitely get inside my head when I listen to you because he's the only entertaining thing. I'd probably thing get inside more than that, dear. It happens. If you're very lucky that you have such a powerful, like, voice and that you can be mm -hmm. on the air until 8 o'clock persuading everybody stuck in traffic who yes. has to listen to you because there's nothing else to do. There's nothing else to do? How about uh, books on tape? How about. Uh... We're in traffic. Big. How about one of the other book 81 book. radio stations here in Southern California? How about uh, how about you make a phone call? I did. I called you. I know that, but I mean, call somebody you know. Well, call I somebody feel, who wants I to hear your like opinion. I know you. Uh, do you really? I feel like I know everything about you. S sounds like you'd like to get to know me even better. I bet you would love that. You think so? Well, I don't know. Have you been tested this year? Have I been tested this year? Yes. I'll provide you with all necessary documentation. So I see there's no point in having a, having a drink. I just give you my test results and we'll go for it. Absolutely. Why not? Look at you. I'll just put a piece of duct tape over my mouth and we'll go to town. Uh, that would be perfect, dear. Oh, great. You put a bag over your head and I'll put some duct tape over my mouth and we'll have a great time. I, I think that's a, that's a dream date. Okay, good. Okay, then we're on tomorrow. <laughs> Really? Okay, I'm in. Okay, well, I'm sure you'll only be in for a very short amount of time. Oh, no, you'd be surprised, dear. There's a, re there's a reason I have so much repeat business. How do I know what kind of repeat business you are? Do you bring I, I have references. Oh, when I send you the paperwork, you'll get the references. I'm sure most of your references... You can check with some of my satisfied customers. Satisfied customers? So you pay... Oh no! No no no! They uh, they uh, can't believe uh, they, I, I'm not just Tom Likas. They can't believe how satisfied they are once they've been through that ordeal. They should call this the John Likas show. Because really? You're always trying to pick up women over the telephone. Oh no! Those I would be it would be John Likas if I was paying for it. But you hardly believe I would pay you to come over and have sex with me, do you? Please. It's the Tom Likas show.